Today we're going to take a look at the trailer idler hub assembly. This is going to have a 5,200 pound axle capacity and it's going to have a six on five and a half bolt pattern with an easy lube spindle. And this is going to be a great option for anything where you need a spindle and hub but you don't need the full axle assembly. Something like a portable welder or a cattle squeeze chute or an industrial dolly. Just anything where you need that wheel hub but not the full axle, so something a little bit shorter. This end unit is going to come completely assembled with the easy loop option. It's going to make it a lot easier to maintain your bearings on the inside there. You just pull off that rubber cap. You probably need a screwdriver, just a flat bladed screwdriver to pull that off. That's going to keep everything from getting into our assembly, keep any dust or water from getting in there and damaging anything. But it also gives us a pretty quick and easy way to lube up those bearings. So as you can see, we'll have our grease circ on the end. You can pump that full of your grease. You just want to use a high temp grease or whatever is right for your application. You can find a lot of axle grease options here at eTrailer.com. So if you need some, you can pick that up right here. Now again, this is going to work for 5,200 pound axles. The bolt pattern is again going to be six on five and a half. So that's six studs and they're going to be five and a half inches apart going from one to the opposite side. So from one stud to the other will be five and a half inches center to center. The shank size is going to be two and a quarter by three inches. And again, this does have a capacity of 2,600 pounds on its own. To put our cap back in place, you just need to align that groove there, put it into the cap, and push it into position. And that's going to do it for our look at the trailer idler hub assembly.